In this video, we're going to look at how to change the case of values within an Excel spreadsheet. So I've been handed this spreadsheet and someone's made a real mess of typing in these names, wrong case, lower case and upper case, all mixed up, um, uh, even a mix within uh, a single name. So how do we clean up this data? This is a common problem. How do we make it kind of look better? Well, there are two ways. Uh, the first way we're going to look at is using formulas. And then if you're lucky enough to have one of the later versions, more recent versions of Excel, 2013 onwards, um, we'll also use something called flash fill. But let's use formulas first of all to clean up this data. So say I wanted all these surnames in uppercase. Now I can use a function called upper to achieve this. So in C4, I'm going to type equals U. And there we are, I can see upper appear in the list. So I'm going to double click on upper. And then all I have to do is point at the cell that I want to convert to uppercase. Close the bracket, press enter. And then I can just copy that down just by dragging this little green square that appears there. You notice I get a black cross when I pointed it, drag it down, and it converts all of those names to upper case. Now, if I want to convert to lower case, you've probably guessed it. I don't use upper, I use lower. L-O-W, there we are, I can double click. And then I could select maybe the first name and it would convert them all to lower case and I can copy that down as well. Proper, well, um, there is a function called proper. So that'll capitalize the first letter of each word. So again, I just select the text, maybe I'm doing it for first name and press enter, I can copy it down and there we are, I have the first name, the first letter of each of the names is now capitalized for me and the rest of the letters are in lower case. Now, the good thing about this is these values are linked, these formulas that I've created are linked to the original values. So if Robert Smith changed his first name to Philip Smith, that would update these two formulas here automatically for me. So that's uh, a nice feature of using formulas. Uh, I could get rid of these altogether now if I wanted to, but if I was going to do that, I'd need to make sure that these formulas are converted to values because at the moment, if I get rid of these uh, incorrectly typed names, these formulas will no longer work. So what I would do is I'd select all the cells with formulas in I'd copy, so I can use Control C for that. I'd paste, so I can use Control V for that. Control V. Let me try that again. So it's Control C, Control V to paste. And then if I do Control on its own and then V, it pastes in all the values. So that means I can now get rid of these and these are still working. So I can use these as my my proper values, the values that I'm going to present to my customer or to my boss or whatever. So I'm just going to undo this several times and I'm going to get rid of these formulas. I'm just going to show you another way of converting this data. The first name say to uppercase. Now this is a feature called flash fill and it only exists in more recent versions of Excel from Excel 2013 onwards. But unbelievably, all I can need to do is type in the first name in uppercase. I come down a cell and then start typing the second name. And it recognizes the pattern that I've converted all of the data, all of the letters to uppercase. I just press enter and it converts them all to uppercase. I can do the same for lower. Let's do it for last name. So Smith. Now I'm going to use a slightly different method for this. Um, I'm not going to even bother to type the next name. What I'm going to do is control enter to stay in the cell. Enter would normally take you down the cell. Control enter leaves you in the cell. And then I'm going to do control E and that will copy the flash fill down that column. I could also do it for proper. So Philip, well, let's say uh, Philip. Now this would be interesting if it works because Philip is already in title case. So if you did control enter control E, it didn't work because there was nothing that was changed in that particular item. So control Z. So maybe on this one, I'm going to have to type the second one in 
So if I did control enter control E, now it works. So it had to see the pattern because that one didn't change. There was no change between those two. I had to write the second one in and then use my control E trick to copy it down. The disadvantage of using flash fill is if Kate became a Susan, um, this won't change because this is not based on any sort of formula. It's just this flash fill pattern recognition uh, that's creating these values for you. Okay, so two ways of converting text, changing the case of text within Excel. Thanks very much for listening.